Welcome guys. In this video, let's talk about labor supply. We know that workers are the king in the labor market because they decide to supply their labor. When workers are not in the labor market, so there's no labor market. So the question is, why labor supply their labor in the labor market and how they decide to how much labor they should supply in the labor market? So we need to know the labor supply in the labor market within three levels. The first is within market level. The second is within firm level. And the third is within individual level. But in this video, I will briefly talk about the labor supply within the industry or market level. Overall, within the market or industry, when we keep other factors, rather wages in the substitute job, value for the leisure, and many other factors, like for example, the entry level to the labor market, when we keep them fixed, our labor supply in the labor market positively related to wage rate. So labor supply is a function of wages. Labor supply is a function of wages. When we say it's positively related to wage rate, it means when the wage rate increases, we decide to supply more labor in the market. So how we can show this relationship between wages and labor supply? There's three tools that we can show this relationship between labor supply and wages, which is labor supply schedule, labor supply curve, and labor supply equation. And the labor supply equation, which is a table that shows the relationship between wages and labor supply, as you can see in this table, when the wage level is $15, for example, we supply, the labor supply will be 40. But when the wage level increase from 50 to 20 to 25 to 30, Similarly, the labor supply will increase. Because when the wage level increase, we want to supply more labor in order to earn more income in the labor market. So it's, this table can show the positive relationship between wage rate and labor supply. And also, we will be able to show this positive relationship between wage rate and labor supply through labor supply curve. So again, the labor supply curve shows when the wage rate increase, we will decide to supply more labor in the labor market. For example, if the initial wage is 20, if the wage rate increase from 20 to 25, our labor supply will increase from 50 to 60. Or when the wage level even increased to 30, our labor supply will increase to 70. And also, when the wage level decreases, for example, from 20 to 15, we will supply less labor in the labor market because we positively react to the wage rate in the labor market. As you see, this curve is upward sloping. Why is upward sloping? Because when the wage rate increase, the labor supply increase. Due to this relationship, labor supply curve has an upward slope. It means that when the wage rate increase, the labor supply will increase. So the slope is positive because we positively react. As a summary, we can show this relationship by labor supply equation. LS stands for the labor supply. C stands for the intercept. 
d is the slope and w is the wage rate this intercept shows that when the wage rate is equal to zero how much labor we will supply and also this positive sign means here that the relationship between wage and labor supply is positive labor supply is positively related to wage rate and d is the slope it shows when the wage rate increased by one unit how much the labor supply would increase when the wage rate increased by one unit labor supply would increase by the value of slope by the value of d so overall as a conclusion labor supply in the labor market is positively related to wage rate when other affecting factors are being fixed that means we should consider the citrus parabus assumption and there is three tools that we can show the relationship between wage and labor supply labor supply schedule labor supply curve labor supply equation i hope now the labor supply within the labor market as a overall and the an industry level is clear for you in the next video i will talk about labor supply in firm level and individual level i hope to see you in the next video as well so if you like this video and if you want to learn more about labor economics i request you to subscribe my youtube channel uh, i guarantee you in the next video i will provide much more practical videos about labor economics and also other topics if you have any specific questions, write down in the comment section below. I will try to answer in the next video. Thank you so much. See you.